Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be exploring how to install uh, the Steam CMD dedicated server, which will allow you to run uh, your own dedicated server in Linux, uh, in this case, Ubuntu, uh, which you'll be able to run games such as Counter Strike 1.6, Counter Strike Source, Day of Defeat, and all the other vast amount of games they run on the Steam CMD network. So, uh, let's not waste any time. As you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 LTS codename Trusty. Um, it, this guide will work on 12.04, 11.04, uh, 10.04 I think and so on. So it's it, I'm going to label the video 14.04 but if you haven't got that version then this should work uh, as well. If it doesn't let us know in the comment and I can adjust uh, what I say and uh, what not. So let's not waste any time, let's jump straight in. So as you can see I've logged into Ubuntu. Uh, the first thing we want to do is run sudo apt-get update type in my password and let that do it. It's not actually updating. All that's doing is making sure it's got the latest re repository update so uh, when you do run an update it's getting the latest version so as so to speak it's not downloading any updates it's just updating the library off the updates. But uh, anyway that's now done so the next command we want to do is uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that you've got uh, everything I'm doing. So I've done an upgrade previously but by all means do this. Uh, sudo apt-get upgrade. So you might have a vast amount of upgrades to do. Uh, just let it go. It normally takes about five minutes. Now the next thing we need to install is a thing called lib32gcc1 and another um, application called libc6 i386 now a lot of guides on the internet um, say to install ia32 lib um, do not install that there's absolutely no need it will just uh, bloat your um, Ubuntu up so don't install that all you need to do is sudo apt get uh, install lib32 gccc1 and then space lib c6 oh lib c6 underscore oh hyphen even i386 and what this does is allows us to run because the dedicated server um supplied by steam is actually 32 bit so it's with ubuntu server it's 64 bit so uh when you run the sh file later on you'll get an uh it'll say uh, do, does not recognize or something like that so if we install this we'll get rid of that error so let's install those okay fantastic that's done I'm going to clear the screen keep it nice and tidy now the next thing we want to do is uh, sudo add user steam the reason we add a user is we don't really want to run um, Steam on a user within the sudo group which allows administration rights and we also don't want to do it on root. So we're going to add a user and add a password. You can even go one step further, I won't cover it in my guide but you can also make sure that a Steam user can't log in via SSH and uh, FTP if need be. But anyway, so that's done. When it asks for the full name, you don't need to enter all that. Is this correct? Perfect. So that's added. Let's clear that screen. Now what we want to do is log in via that user. So SU Steam type in our password now as you can see, uh, see I'm still in the home directory of test which is another user account so I need to come out of that just do cd space uh, space dot dot so we go up a level do ls we can see steam so cd steam now what we want to do is make a folder um, so mkdir steam cmd now what we want to do is download the 
platform uh, Steam uh, CMD. So first of all, we need to go into our folder we just created. So Steam CMD. We want to type wget http dot dot forward straight forward straight media dot steam powered dot com forward stroke installer forward stroke steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz hopefully i remembered that fantastic that's downloaded so if i do an ls yep we now see that folder uh file even so let's clear that now what we want to do is extract that uh zip file which is tar space hyphen xv zf space steam cmd underscore no what have i done there we go steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz thought it looked weird so let's run that as you can see that extracted nice for nice and fine so let's do ls yep you can see so let's remove uh steam cmd now the the f just to keep it nice and tidy dot tar dot gz so rm will remove now what we want to do ls make sure that's removed let's clear it let's uh run the steam cmd so um dot forward stroke steam cmd dot sh that will download any updates it needs to do okay fantastic now you'll notice at the bottom here it hasn't actually um, it's now saying steam this is because we're now in the steam cmd console so we can do uh, some commands so the first thing we want to do is log in uh, type login space anonymous I believe some games do uh, require you to log in via uh, a proper authentication but the games will be adding do not so let's do that login anonymous and there we go connecting anonymously to the steam public successful so fantastic so what we want to do now is now tell the Steam CMD uh, to install Counter-Strike Source dedicated server. So we do this by setting uh, a folder. So what we need to do is type force underscore install underscore dir space dot forward stroke css or whatever you want it to be you could call it source uh, count strike source and full but I'm just gonna put CSS um, which basically short for count strike source so type that that's now informed um, whatever we're gonna download is gonna go into that folder so the app we want to install is the count strike uh, source uh, dedicated server so we type app underscore update space two three two three three zero space validate uh depending if it is a dedicated server and you're not using a home server that and it's in a, a data center then it should be extremely quick i'm at home so uh, i have got a hundred m bits but um is still not that fast so I'm going to stop the video and start it back up once that's downloaded and then we'll, I'll show you how to configure it and uh, how to run it as well as you can see that's now done so what we need to do is quit out from our Steam console uh, do a clear screen keep it nice and clear let's do an LS to see what we now have as you can see we've now got the Counter-Strike source uh, Counter Strike uh, source directory CSS. So let's go into that fo folder. Do an ls again. We can see we've got a C Strike folder. Let's go into that. Do an ls, and as you can see, we've got a CFG f f uh, folder. So let's go into that, and I'll briefly explain what we can do within there. So if I do ls again, you'll see that we've got um, M M O T uh, underscore default uh, M O T underscore text underscore default dot text these are our uh, message of the day uh, files so if we want to make use of those we can do a cp motd underscore default 
text and let's call it MOTD uh, just remove uh, the default underscore uh, let's edit that you can use nano you can use VI to edit it whatever's your cup of tea I'm going to use Pico as you can see it's in HTML that's all the styling and you can change around in the pre so welcome to our server your days are up or something like that but let's save that so control X yes save um, now the other thing you can do is you can make uh, a server config um, there's not a, a default one you, uh, so to speak uh, unlike the MO, uh, MOTD um, but all you do is pico server.config and then you'd write your CVARs in there um, lots of websites um, where you can get uh, configurations from um, there is a particular website where it, it can generate one uh, for you from a list of what you want to pick just copy and paste the contents into that I'll link it in the description of this video so you can visit their website and uh, make yourself a config file so let's come out there and actually run the server now so we come straight out to the top folder which is CSS do an LS and the uh, file we're interested in is that one there so what we need to do is we need to run that so we do that by dot forward stroke SRCDS underscore run space hyphen console because we want the console hyphen game C strike space hyphen max players let's set out 20 uh, let's specify a port so space hyphen port 27015 space let's set a map if you don't want to specify a map there is actually um, you can make a, a, there's a map cycle there you would obviously copy that remove the default uh, and then when we execute the server it will load the map cycle uh, file but anyway we're going to specify a map so I can show you how to do this we're going to specify dust2 so it's actually de underscore dust2 and all we do is press enter and hopefully we don't get any serious errors there are um, notifications but these are not errors so to speak like for example it's giving us a notification we haven't made a server.cfg so it just runs with its default values but as you can see it's uh, VAC secure mode is activate, uh, activated that server's now running and we'll move on to clear. Uh, talk about the ports so if I just clear that screen Now the Steam dedicated server does use uh, some ports, uh, Ubuntu uh, comes with the ports open so we don't need to worry about that. If you're running it in the data center uh, you're pretty much good to go and have fun. If you are running a home server um, and you do have a router such as a Netgear, D-Link, Buffalo, uh, BT Infinity, Home Hub etc. We need to open those ports. So the first thing we need to do is type in ifconfig we can see that that is my internal IP address so I then want to head over to my um, browser and log, uh, log into the router which I have done so um, now you're looking for something like NAT or it might be in security depending on what uh, brand of router you got in this case I'm using WDWRT and what we want to find is port range forwarding now I've already entered this in which is Steam CMD. You can name it anything you want. Uh, not all routers allow you to name it. Um, some of them even have the profile uh, half life, which uh, most of the times opens the necessary ports. So if you don't have that option, we want to open 27, uh, 27,000 to 27, uh, 27,040. Protocol both. And type in the IP address off the internal local machine if you've got a checkbox make sure you click it click save and click apply settings after that you should be ready to go and have fun i hope you found this helpful i'll see you soon bye bye